Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of GIS Answers. Today we'll be looking at Wisconsin and the Bigfoot data located in this state. The sightings are the yellow points. We have the white and red dash boundary of the states and the salmon colored lines represent the county boundaries which can be quite useful in this uh, process. And we'll be flipping back to look at the BFRO website and looking into some of these sightings. So what I've done is um, when you zoom in, I have labeled the points based on the BFRO classification of A or B. A would be a sighting, a visual sighting, and Bs are other evidence such as vocalizations, tree knocks, footprints. So we'll just uh, zoom in and we do see a cluster here in Price County around the town of Phillips and there's four Class A sightings in this area which is quite good. So we'll click on one. July 2013 Daybreak sighting by a fisherman driving to a tournament near Phillips. So we're going to flip over to Price County, Wisconsin. And here's the Class A 2013 sighting by a fisherman. Or fishermen, so it's more than one. When we turned about 70 yards in front of us, in the middle of the row was a big black animal that had its rear end facing us. At that point, we startled it. And it took a quick look at us and ran into the woods. That's when we both thought we had seen a gorilla. It was easily six foot tall. And when it ran into the, the woods, we could tell that the creature had a 45 degree angle back. From head to rear end. Not like any bear. Additionally, it ran into the woods using its two front arms like an ape. Using its, using its knuckles like an ape. So very interesting. That was a good one. Let's have a look at another one just north of Phillips. A BFRO investigator obtains first thermal footage, very brief, outside Phillips. So this is an actual BFRO investigator who has uh, claimed to, to get uh, thermal footage. July 2008, BFRO investigator. So it looks like this guy was on a five day trip. Nothing much going on the, the first couple of nights, but the fourth night, things started to happen. A rock or a piece of wood came very close to my tent and hit a tree with a loud thud.
So it looks like um, he says there was no bear or, or other four-legged animal. It was bipedal and it was agile. I watched it on the computer when I got home. It looked like a Sasquatch to me. It was peeking over brush for a while and moving strangely and then running away, hunched over like, a, like it was dodging a sniper. I was just looking to see if we can actually... Okay, to download this footage, go to the BFRI Public Discussion Forum. You have to register. And then once you've registered, look at new video clips. So if you want to do that, go ahead. I'll leave that to you. Here's some more sightings. Class A. Hunting fishing guide has afternoon encounter in deep woods near Lugerville. September 2003. Well, there's a lot to read there. I won't go through it all. But he does say its height is only about six to six and a half feet. It stays in the shadows, has dark brown hair with blackish, blackish streaks, walks with a hunched over ape like character. I did not notice any smell, and it made no sound. So there's more detail here if you'd like to come back and look at this. And let's have a look over here at Lugerville. There's a couple here on the edge of town. November 1997, Hunter observes dark figure with swinging arms making long strides. It was 2.30 in the afternoon when I saw a dark figure walking along a ridge. It had a long stride with arms swinging high during its walk. I thought it was a shadow of a man walking, but the sun was not out. I had previ previously seen two hunters who were wearing 100% orange blaze. This thing was all dark. I thought it was a landowner coming down to talk to me. But after disappearing behind some bushes, I never saw it again. The distance between us was a hundred yards. I became a little uneasy when I heard sounds like branches breaking in the forest and decided to leave the area. Further pondering on what I had seen. The most unusual thing was the swinging of the arms with the hands reaching almost head level and the hands were open almost as if it was marching. It never looked at me but kept its head looking in the direction it was going. It was not walking on top of the ridge but on the farthest side which only allowed a view from its waist up. I believe it was larger than a man since the distance was being 100 yards would have made a man seem small and the features like swinging arms would not have been seen. Also, before I left I heard that sounds like branches breaking. I climbed out of my tree stand and left. So, another good one. 
And uh, yeah, that's, there's a cluster there. Let's see if there's any other clusters. Some clusters over here um, by the town of Vilas. Or Vilas. There's one right in the middle of town. I don't think that could be quite right, but let's have a look. 1984. While watching TV, witness sees large, dark, upright object pass by the window. So, yeah, it does sound like it's in town. Very good. Class B, November 2011, tall upright figure observed crossing the road near Woodruff. July 1993, hiker finds large footprints in Northern Highland State. I can't read that. Is it State Park? I don't know. State Forest? State Forest. October 2001. Man hears footsteps. Inexplicable noise in Villas County. So, yeah, so that's looking at Wisconsin, some of the interesting points of uh, sightings of Bigfoot. Um, I encourage you, if you have had an encounter with Bigfoot or even some possible evidence, please submit to the BFRO and uh, we'll add to the points on this map. Thanks, everybody. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, like the video, and we'll do another one. Thank you.